Following the train derailment in East Palestine, Erie County residents have been reaching out to county officials asking, are we safe here in Erie? Matt Mathias had a chance to take an exclusive tour of the Erie County Public Safety Department with County Executive Brenton Davis to show off how prepared we are if something like what happened in Ohio happened here in Erie. Matt? Brian, county officials say that a train derailment is one of the more likely emergency scenarios that teams prepare for, and they're confident that they could keep the public safe. County officials want residents to rest assured. They're on top of preparing for any hazardous situation like what's happened in East Palestine. The Erie County Department of Public Safety's heavily trained and hardworking staff has security measures in place for practically any situation. We've done rail car response, we've done tractor trailer response, we actually have a tanker truck that's rolled over that we can do scenarios with. A anything from a small spill of mercury up to a rail car, we've done different scenarios with in different trainings. In East Palestine, officials were forced to dig a trench, expel fluids into the trench to contain it, burn the chemicals, and then will remediate the ground. In Erie County, our hazmat team is equipped with the ability to transfer waste out and away from the site of an accident into a containment kit and away from our ecosystem. So we've got seven trailers that are strategically positioned, one of them being in the city of Erie. Um, to respond to these, it's very important being in the Lake Erie watershed that we can contain these. And as another safety measure, the Public Safety Department can test our local resources. The other thing that the county has available is our own health department so that we have environmental specialists that will start looking at the water quality and stuff like that, you know, through the public water uh, authorities. Erie County's team is the only volunteer team north of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania, making our region available to send help to any nearby county in the region. I just wanted to reassure the public that we are uniquely positioned to respond to many casualties that other areas, I mean, I'd put us right up there with places like Allegheny County and Pittsburgh or e even Philadelphia. Volunteers meet once per month to hold training sessions so that Erie County can continue to be prepared for any situation. Brian. Matt Mathias reporting. Thank you very much.